All right, today we're revisiting my 52-inch antique brass Key Largo Chaparral ceiling fan. Manufactured sometime back in the early 1980s. Three-speed electrically reversible fan powered with an Emerson K55 motor. Blades on the fan are solid wood walnut finish. And it's got the typical Key Largo scalloped edge on the trailing edge of the blades there. Fan's mounted on a two-foot down rod with a slide-up bell canopy that is two-piece because it'll, the design allows it to swivel for any kind of angled ceiling. The mounting is ball socket. Very similar to Newtone's original ball socket systems that were recalled. The canopy or the mounting bracket is pot, cast pot metal. And it seems like it's not very sturdy, so this thing may have been recalled as well. But well, it seems like it's held this fan up for... 30 plus years so it's seems like it's all right see right there is the information tag here on the switch housing you'll notice that the switch housing cap is polished brass that is of course not original when I got this fan didn't have any switch housing cap on it at all that one there is off of Casablanca some would fit I had to elongate them screws but I'll have to find an antique brass one to fit it later on. So yeah, Key Largo, definitely another obscure high-end fan manufacturer. Only lasting in the 80s, probably in the early 90s when they were phased out. Earlier fans like this one were high-end stack motor style fans. The later ones were outsourced to SAF Enterprise. They made a couple of fans under the SAF Inter with SAF Enterprise and before being phased out altogether. So the company is based out of Florida. Pretty unique fans they are. I don't think the Sapporo was their flagship model, but it's definitely one of their most popular sold fans of the time. So yeah, let's go ahead and start things up. Starting up on low. With the two foot down rod, I gotta sit down on a chair to sew it. So, pardon my clumsiness. Yeah, you don't really see Key Largo fans much anymore. I'm sure the flywheel, which seems to be made out of plastic and rubber, definitely help to their obscurity in this day and age this one here seems to be holding up pretty well but they're pretty hard to find fans especially up north here in southern ohio i don't think they were ever sold here in cincinnati like i said i got this one from a fellow clanker friend that lived somewhere else so that's how i got a hold of this one the low speed here, as you would expect, pretty nice and aesthetic. The fan's got a slight hum to it, but other than that, nice and quiet. Take the medium. It's got a more pronounced hum here on medium. A bit of wobble as well, likely due to the droopy flywheel or the warp blades, something like that. And high speed. High speed here cruising at around 195 200 rpm with the 13 14 degree blade pitch it throws out a pretty good breeze especially on this two foot down rod definitely has a pretty pronounced hum to it which is pretty unlike emerson k55 style fans 
Runs pretty good, no bearing noise or anything. So, it's not too shabby. So before I end things off here, just a little bit of update regarding the revisits that I'm doing for people. I'm only probably only going to take a few more revisits. I have a small handful to do still. I'm sure the guy that asked about the Charlestons in the garage is probably wanting their video here. And I'm going to get to it here soon, but I just have a project in the garage right, at, right now that's blocking everything, so... It's nearing completion, so as soon as that gets cleared out, I'll get the Charleston videos in the garage up on YouTube again. But I'll take a few more requests. So if you have anything that you want to see, drop drop a comment down below and I'll add you to the list. Of course, the original video on this fan will be posted in the description below. I know that the original video I did on this fan was... One of the ones that I did not do commentary on, so if you want to see another fan that I didn't do commentary on or revisited, drop a comment below, like I said. So before we end things off, I'll get up here and get you a little more of an up-close shot of this fan here. So here's the Emerson K55 motor. Bit of a rudimentary wiring job because someone cut the lead wires real short. Better shot of the two-piece swivel canopy design there. And the information badge there. Yeah, pretty cool fans. That's all I got, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on this 52-inch antique brass Key Largo Chaparral ceiling fan from the early 1980s. Stay cool, take care.